for Nick McDevitt live. Coach McDevitt is with us and good crowd on hand here tonight on a cold night and uh, in Murfreesboro and uh, we have uh, you know fairly pretty clean streets. Everybody got moving around today but you got outside and it was a little raw, a little cold and and uh, but everybody's enjoying uh, some good fellowship in here tonight and some great food at the boulevard and coach Nick McDevitt is here coach welcome in thank you sir yep and uh, the uh, Blue Raiders had a good weekend very interesting weekend uh, with two victories two totally different ways and we'll we'll uh, talk about that uh, as we move along here but want to let you know that our uh, our opening segment here is brought to you by the folks at uh, at the Murfreesboro Post covering daily news from Murfreesboro pick one up around town every Monday or log on to MurfreesboroPost.com anytime. And a couple of uh, headlines right off the bat. Uh, Dick mentioned it uh, at the end of, of Coach Ensel's show a moment ago, but uh, there has been a change in the game time on Saturday with Southern Mississippi coming in. It was a 5 o'clock scheduled start, and uh, it is now going to be a 1 p.m. start. So we invite everybody to come out and support the Blue Raiders and then – support Kevin Byard and the Titans in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Yeah, it could be a, a, a pretty fun Saturday. Uh, be able to have an autograph session, I believe, before the game uh, with our football team uh, and then uh, hopefully uh, have a good Saturday afternoon with, uh, with Southern Miss and tip it off uh, the, the day off with a, a, a Titans win. Yep, uh, Bahamas Bowl champions will be there prior to the game for, uh, again, chance to come by and get a little pat on the back and, you know, sign some autographs. They'll have posters, things like that up there, but that'll be this Saturday. Again, tip-off is at 1 p.m. on Saturday with Southern Mississippi coming in. Well, you, you could not have played two games that were more different in style of play than, than we had this past weekend. You came away with wins in both of them, and that, I think that's a real credit for any team – to do whatever it takes, whatever it's going to have to do to win a basketball game. Yeah, Thurs th yeah Thursday it was pretty. Saturday was not so pretty, <laughs> but you got the job both done. Both effective. Uh, I thought we played hard uh, in both games, and, and our team has been playing hard all year long. Uh, but we were in a rhythm, in a flow, uh, you know, uh, able to make some shots in the FAU game. Um, I, I told our guys it's easy to – you know, play with a ton of excitement and when the ball's going in the basket and guys are dunking balls and blocking shots and taking charges. It really, everybody was, um, you know, contributing positively on both ends of the floor in that game. And then, uh, you know, on, on Saturday, um, we were still playing hard, uh, but both teams were just running each other out of offense. Uh, they were switching a lot off ball that kind of slowed us down. We were switching a lot on the ball with dribble handoffs and ball screens that kind of slowed them down. And you could tell it was going to end up just being kind of a rock fight and who could, who could withstand uh, the, really the frustration. You could tell some of our guys were a little frustrated about the way we were playing offensively, but I like that it didn't affect their defensive effort. Uh, it, to hold a team to, to 39 points that uh, really likes to get up and down. And then over the two games combined, uh, FAU and FIU combined for nine assists in two games. And anytime you're, you're holding a team like that, you're making them have to beat you one on, with one-on-one -on -one plays. And uh, they're, they're not just spraying the ball around, driving it and kicking it, now it's an easy catch and shoot uh, shot. You're, you're making them be one-on-one -on -one players. And uh, that's the idea, is uh, not let them just run free-flowing team offense. Yeah, we'll, we'll kind of break down each game a little bit here in just a moment, but what, one of the things that comes out of that is your team is making uh, an identity for itself on the defensive end by being able to, to shut people down. Uh, on Thursday night, the two leading scorers for FIU came into the game averaging 25 between them. They were held to a combined five points. And for FIU, the point guard, uh, Brewer, the little fella, he came in averaging about 15 a game. He was held to five. So, uh, and, and that, that doesn't happen by accident. I mean, that's part of the game plan is to kind of cut the head of the snake and, and the body dies. Yeah, that's the idea. Again, you know, you're trying to make the other team's uh, third, fourth, or fifth best player try to beat you. 
um, you know, when, when uh, the other team's best player has a great game or the, the, the second best player also has a good game, generally speaking, that team's going to play well uh, and score it well. There's some guys that uh, are good players. They're, they're the other team's fourth and fifth best players are good players, but they might not be great scorers. They might not have the capability to, to score 15 or 18 or 20 points in that, in that game. And uh, that's what you want to force those kind of guys to be. Uh, eliminate the guys that uh, can really score the ball and see if the other guys can beat you. One of the uh, other headlines today came out this afternoon. Who likes to watch T. Leonard play? <laughs> Number 12. Everybody like T? He was freshman of the week in Conference USA this week for the second time. And um, I'll tell you, he is, uh, you know, he, he goes through things and, and learns as a young player learns, but it doesn't take him to learn doesn't take him a lot of time to learn each lesson. He's on to the next thing, and uh, he's continuing to mature. And it's, you know, that's one of the, the really fun things about what we're able to do as fans and, and being able to travel with you guys uh, and things like that is to watch these young kids grow from, from pups into the, into the, the lead dogs. And, uh, and, and he is going to be one of those very soon. He's going to be a lead dog pretty soon. He's... Uh, He's just getting better, uh, really, you can see it week by week, uh, just continues to mature. And for a guy that is having success on the floor, he still doesn't play uh, kind of outside of himself, outside of what he's good at very often. Of course, he's going to have the errant shot every now and then that you don't love uh, or try something offensively. But you look at his turnover numbers, and they're, they're pretty low. Uh, you look at his mm – -hmm. uh, I, I wouldn't consider him a, a three-point specialist – but he's shooting 33% from three, seven for 21 on the season. So he, he kind of uh, takes picks his spots. He picks his spots at the mm -hmm. right moment, and he's, he's uh, capable of uh, really turning the game in your favor, uh, at, at, uh, at least with your team, with block shots, uh, with, with alley-oop dunks that other guys just can't go get. Uh, he makes up for other team, other players' uh, defensive mistakes. And as they, the other night, uh, we had a little breakdown. And he just come, came from the weak side and blocked one off the backboard. He's he's uh, he's just a, a fun player to watch, a fun player to coach. Yeah, and the, you know, and there's there's a handful of those guys, uh, and you don't get them all the time, who they have that innate ability to uh, make up for a mistake by sheer talent, uh, that kind of thing. I, you know, we're going to have another guy on here tonight as a guest who has a, a package of skills that is hard to coach that, you know, he has developed and he has natural talent. That's Cam Weston. He's going to be with us here at, at, the, at the bottom of the hour. And, and those guys just kind of bring a different dimension. Uh, and, and sometimes you, you as a coach, you kind of, okay, let me get out of the way here and let you do your thing. That's right. There's some <laughs> things that you, you can't coach uh, guys to be able to do, and you don't want to take some of the things that really you can't coach and, and pull it out of them. Uh, T just does some things that, uh, you know, most guys can't do, and Cam sees things on the floor that – uh, not many guys can see it, let alone make it happen. Uh, some of the, the passes that he makes really daily in practice, but occasionally in a game that uh, he, he finds somebody uh, that, you know, even us didn't – I didn't see him, and he finds him <laughs> late. And uh, he, He's just a – the game is slow in his head. Uh, it, 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 he's, he never gets sped up in between his ears, and that's really when the game starts getting easier for players that jump from high school to college, uh, you can sit down and draw it up. But when you get out there, man, that, it seems like it's five on seven and you're playing in a tornado for your f first couple months. Uh, and then all of a sudden the game just starts to slow down. You start to recognize things happening. Uh, he's well beyond that. Uh, he, he's, he's been there a long, long time ago. The game just uh, happens for him slowly in between his ears. And because he's so... Uh, good with the ball and big and strong, it, it makes him even more effective. Yep, and, uh, and again, congratulations to T being named Conference USA Freshman of the Week for the second time. Before we take our next break, do you, anybody in here remember what they were doing 24 years ago tonight? Does anybody? Okay, Jennifer, let everybody know. Lightning was born 24 years ago today. So happy birthday to Lightning, and uh, that was a big crowd uh, at, at Murphy Center, almost a full house that night, and uh, 
So uh, lightning continues to mature and age <laughs> like a fine wine. So uh, Coach Nick McDavid is here with us. Glad to have all you with us as well here in the house and on the radio and on the Varsity app. And uh, we'll take a time out, our first one of the night, and back after this on the Blue Raider Network from Learfield. <laughs> At Kroger, fresh groceries are our thing. So we do freshness checks on the items in your delivery order at every step of their journey from our farms to our stores. And pick and pack every blue, raz, and strawberry in your free pickup order with the utmost care. Because we believe in treating your food the same way we'd want ours to be treated. It's the golden rule, only for like fresh fruit and stuff. Order now using the mobile app. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions may apply. Hi, this is Coach Nick McDevitt. Ascend Federal Credit Union is the proud sponsor and exclusive credit union of Blue Raider Athletics. Visit Ascend's branch just off campus at 2316 East Main Street or any of their three other Murfreesboro locations. You can also keep track of your accounts and deposit checks on the go with Ascend's mobile app. For a complete list of services, ATMs, and locations, visit Ascend.org. Ascend is federally insured by the NCUA. MT Dining is eating made easy. With more than 19 dining locations, you'll never run out of variety on campus. Whether it's Chick-fil-A, Steak and Shake, or Starbucks, we've got the brands you love right here. Need a quick snack or Scantron? Stop by one of the six pods on campus. And try out MT Dining's new farm-to-fork experience. Farmer's Market, now open. Located in the Student Union. Visit mtdining.com for more information. Or visit our office in the Keithley University Center. Room 202. Luxuriously designed, exquisitely detailed, first in its class, corner to corner, a true work of art, capable of going from zero to $300,000 in a few seconds flat. Are we talking about a sports car? Oh no, we're talking about Jumbo Bucks Premium Edition Instant Games from the Tennessee Lottery. So test drive the new gold standard in instant tickets today. The Tennessee Lottery, game-changing fun. Please play responsibly. You buy something because you found it at a low price, and soon you realize it's no bargain because you really needed something better. It happens all the time, especially with car insurance. But the good news is you can get the right coverage at the right price. Just talk to me, State Farm Agent Bud Morris. I'll help you get the right coverage at a price that's right for you. Call me at 893-1417 today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I'm Bud Morris, providing insurance and financial services. At Ascension St. Thomas, care is more than a word. Care is serving our patients, standing with them in times of need, and showing compassion when they're at their most vulnerable. Care is listening and delivering personalized plans from a team of specialists, providing leading edge treatments at every step. At Ascension St. Thomas, care is more than a word. It's our calling. Make your next appointment at getsthealthcare.com. The flagship station for Blue Raider Sports, WGNS. Welcome back into Nick McDevitt Live. We're here at the Boulevard. Our show is brought to you in part, as we mentioned, by Bud Light. Bud Light proudly welcomes back Middle Tennessee fans to Murphy Center. This year, Bud Light is for the fans and, and coach during the break. Uh, your, 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 your kids, Mr. Cooper and Miss Katie, came up here because they would like to see Daddy after practice. And... Uh, I want to let everybody know Cooper was in first shot basketball camp today with Coach Andy Herzer. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> he was uh, he had uh, he had to demonstrate, if I understand, he had to demonstrate loose balls on the floor. Yep. And taking charges. That's right. So Cam, what about that? I mean, if he's taking charges in camp, he Ca might. He hey, might Cam have Weston took one in our last game. That's right. He did. He sure did. He, did you mean to? <laughs> so, 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 okay, <laughs> but anyway, glad to have uh, the whole family out uh, tonight. Uh, going through some of the notes of other notable things of because we haven't been here for a couple of weeks. Uh, the wins this week over FAU and FIU uh, put the win streak at home up to ten, and uh, going for number eleven in a row against Southern Mississippi. <laughs> defend this house, and uh, do do you? Uh, how do you handle that with your guys? Because uh, it, it let it, it's it's a source of pride, I think. We, no, think about it. it it's for sure uh, a source of pride. Don't keep uh, that a secret. No, 
no. And uh, we only played two home games last year uh, in front of our, our fans, and we won those two against Charlotte. And then uh, this year, uh, the same thing. We, we talk about it often. If you want to win your league, you've get, you better win your home games. Uh, you can't be just okay uh, at home because when you go on the road, life's tough. It's hard to win on the road um, in, in any good league, and, and this is one of them. So you have to win at home, and uh, we've, we've uh, been fortunate and uh, still winning our home games and need to do it again this Saturday. Yep. With the two wins uh, and also with your performances on the road in close games against good teams who are doing well, what used to be the old RPI is now the net rankings. And as of this morning, you guys are at 125, and that's up uh, about 100 spaces than you were about a month and a half ago. So that, that's improvement. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you climb that ladder. That's what you want to do. Yeah, just, you know, keep controlling what you can control, and that's beat the teams and play well and against the guys on your mm -hmm. schedule. And, uh, you know, we did well in a non-conference play, and so far off to a good start in league play uh, considering – uh, like, for instance, uh, you can ask Cam about his trip to, to Texas, but, um, you know, we had very little prep going into the Rice North Texas trip, and Cam got up at 345 in the morning, the morning of the Rice game, and flew to the Nashville airport because he was getting out of uh, a COVID quarantine the day of the game and uh, flew down to, to Houston and played against Rice on about four hours of sleep and no prep, been in the room for five days, so... Uh, that that kind of adds uh, to the the whole idea of tough to win on the road. Yeah. Uh, but you know we got we got to win our home games. Yep. And uh, and good to have uh, like we mentioned another one on Saturday at one o'clock against Southern Miss. Uh, those who follow national uh, rankings as far as statistical things right now, middle number 22 in the country in steals with 150 so far this year, and 23rd in force in turnovers force per game. You're getting you're forcing nearly 17 turnovers per game. That, in turn, a lot of times gets you easy baskets, and that those are always good. Those are always good. We, we talk about winning the turnover battle, and, uh, you know, we, we talk about pass and catch all the time. If you've got five guys on the floor that can value the basketball and not throw it to the wrong team, and then when you're on the defensive side of the ball, uh, create some turnovers to give yourself some easies uh, out uh, in offensive transition, give yourself a good chance to win games. Uh, our team has been pretty good uh, about rebounding the ball as of late. So, uh, you know, obviously we're in the middle of NFL playoffs and uh, you, you can't afford to lose the turnover battle uh, no. in, in professional football, but you can't in college basketball either. You can't lose the possession game, so to say, and uh, get beat on the offensive glass and have more turnovers than your opponent. Uh, you're just giving your your opposition just too many more free, free baskets and free chances. Yeah, I I exactly. And, and there are ways to go about getting more possessions, and that is, you know, turning your opponent over. And, and get some offensive rebounds. That's right. And, and, then, that's right. You, and then when you're efficient on, in, in your offense and average a, a point or so per possession, you're going to be pretty good. That's the idea. Yep. Um, speaking of defense, the Blue Raiders have limited opponents to 60 points or less seven times this year. That's the second most in Conference USA. The 39 points on Saturday were the second fewest a Conference USA team has allowed to a Division I opponent this year. The 89, for those historians and us gray heads in here, the, uh, the 89 total points, 50 to 39, so 89 points, was the lowest total point number since a month after I graduated from college in January of 1985. There was a game with Eastern Kentucky where both teams scored 88 points so it has been a while so you saw them both I saw them both <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw that one back in 1985 but but uh, you know it, it you know, and, and the thing was that that game on Saturday even though they had 39 with you know was still you know a minute and a half to go it was uh oh, Brittany a uh, minute and a half to go we still you still didn't know I mean because you know you, what you weren't out of the woods just yet no, we weren't. Uh, obviously, we were. Uh, we were trying to. I think we got a little technical difficulty. No, we're fine. Here. It's just here in the room. I got you. Uh, you know, we were uh, struggling to score it ourselves. Obviously, our opposition was, and that was because both teams were doing a really good job of, uh, you know, d 
defending. Uh, they were running us out of some of the things we were trying to do on our offensive end, and uh, we continued to play well on the, the other end of the floor as well. So it was just, a, a again, just a defensive battle, and uh, our guys kept uh, guarding. It was indeed. It was a defensive battle, and the Raiders did go 2-0 and over the weekend and have won 11 now uh, on the season as uh, they're now 11-6 and on the 21-22 season. We'll take a timeout more with Coach Nick McDevitt after this on the Blue Raider Network from Learfield. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light South of Hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now, Hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagels. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Plain Heiser Bush, Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of MTSU Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Hey, Blue Raiders fans, the Mint Gaming Hall at Kentucky Downs is a proud partner of your Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. For good times and big wins, the Raiders and the Mint Gaming Hall deliver both. Located close by in Franklin, Kentucky, the Mint Gaming Hall is your spot for great food, cold drinks, and big jackpots. Win yourself a BMW 228i this winter in a drive-to-win promotion. Earn entries daily and qualify on Fridays. Check out themintgaming.com for all the details. Get your big hit today. The Murfreesboro Post is Rutherford County's sports leader. No one covers high school sports like the Post. Now you can receive the Murfreesboro Post delivered by mail each week to your home for only $20 a year. Sign up at MurfreesboroPost.com and click subscribe and we will get your delivery of the Murfreesboro Post started. That's MurfreesboroPost.com for delivery of the Murfreesboro Post. Las Casas Drugs is a proud sponsor of Blue Raider Athletics, located at 4702 Las Casas Pike, just minutes from Murfreesboro. Las Casas Drugs strives to provide all of your pharmaceutical needs in that hometown atmosphere you deserve. Family owned and operated, Las Casas Drugs offers free delivery, immunizations, drive through window, gift shop, merchandise, and medication management programs. Come by and see how we can make a difference. And go Blue Raiders. Roscoe Brown is proud to be a longtime supporter of MTSU Athletics and your locally owned HVAC and plumbing company. For 81 years, Roscoe Brown has been the trusted name in heating, cooling, and plumbing for Middle Tennessee homeowners and businesses. Call 1-888-MY-ROSCOE to schedule your HVAC or plumbing service today. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Roscoe Brown. People you know, a name you trust. Go Blue Raiders! Roscoe Brown. RoscoeBrown.com. The Blue Raiders on News Radio WGNS. Welcome back into the Boulevard tonight for Nick McDevitt live as we talk Blue Raider basketball. Of course, the Boulevard just across from campus uh, at the Boulevard Bar and Grill, the best sports bar and grill in Murfreesboro. Be sure you stop by lunch and dinner. Uh, let's talk a little bit about kind of go into the, the two games this past weekend, the FAU game and uh, the FIU game. The Raiders win against FAU 70-57. to 57. And one thing that was kind of a theme for the weekend, you guys had to deal with a legit seven-footer on each one of these teams. Yeah, we did. Uh, but, I, you know, I think our, um, our team defense and our team length was able to uh, negate the size uh, that we were giving up at that position uh, because most of the other positions we have a size advantage uh, usually we don't at the five. Uh, obviously, we had a, an injury before the season started to Jared Coleman-Jones and uh, just negated that most of the time that uh, when DeAndre Dishman was in the game, he was going to be playing all of his minutes uh, really guarding the other team's center as opposed to the other team's power forward. And so it, it put us at a size disadvantage there, but it also, uh, because of 
uh, being able to play guys like Tiafio Leonard uh, and Justin Buford at the three, Eli Lawrence some at the two, Cam Weston at 6'3", some at the point, uh, most of the time at the point. Uh, just puts us, uh, we, we've got team size at the other positions. And I, I think our guys do a really good job of helping each other out so that it's not just a one-on-one -on -one matchup uh, for somebody on the post guard and a seven-footer. Got off to a little bit of a slow start, <coughs> down 6 nothing, but came back. and 8-3, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly, 8-3. Eight, eight, and uh, so you were down 5 there, but you got the lead for good. Uh, it looked like uh, it, it 9-8. Yeah, and then, then again, the game was tied at 20, and then you went ahead after that and, and, and didn't look back and built that lead up to as much as 28 uh, during the game. Yeah, we, you know, we got up, uh, I guess it was 57 to 29 when we were up by, yep. by 28, and then uh, we, we were up uh, 60 to 40 or 60 to 41 and had a couple of kind of quick possessions when they were trying to press and speed up the game. Uh, we actually called timeout to, to – just make sure that we understood at that point it was a possession count for uh, right. FAU. They, they had to start pressing. If they just sat back and let us walk it up and run 25 seconds off the shot clock every time, uh, it just was going to take a couple of baskets and they were going to run out of possessions. So you, you have to try to balance uh, taking advantage of them pressing. If you don't make a team that's pressing you pay for pressing you, they're going to keep pressing. Mm -hmm. And so you, you've got to take advantage of the easy ones that are presented when they're pressing, but not just take the quick ones just because you're open. A and that's a hard balance, particularly for young teams to, to understand. It's time this score is a, situation. This is a good so. shot and it's three on two. And this is a bad shot two minutes later. And it was still also a three on two break. Uh, th those are, are things that you just have to learn with playing experience. And uh, I thought we did a pretty decent job of, of understanding that late in that game and maintaining, uh, you know, a, a pretty uh, comfortable lead, if you will. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're able to put ourselves in that position a couple more times. Yeah, Josh Jefferson, uh, he uh, had his second straight 19-point game and hit five threes. And I'm telling you, when it leaves his hand, everything looks like it's about to go in. He's just one of those – smooth shooting guys he has a real compact shot mm -hmm. uh there's not a lot of wasted movement he his feet are always set when he catches it uh, you know you, you, people talk about quick release uh shooters it's not just that they catch it and fire it up out of their hands mm -hmm. there's no wasted time or movement once the ball does hit their hands their feet are set their hands are set and they've got a compact shot uh, it, he, his shot from the time he catches it to the time he gets rid of it isn't a, a six, seven step process. I mean, it's in his hands and it's up and gone and it's a repeated shot. Uh, our guys would tell you that he shoots it the same way every time. Well, whether it's in the game or in practice, it looks like the same shot every time he shoots it. And that's what great shooters do. Uh, it looks the same whether they're shooting it from the right wing or the left wing or a pin down or it, it doesn't matter. He shoots it the same way, and he's a, he's a really good shooter for us. And our guys know to find him when, That's right. when he sees one or two go in. Well, he, and, he feels like the next four or five are going in. Yeah, and a lot of times so they do. so do I. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that uh, our man Cameron Weston was, was uh, six out of nine from the floor against FAU and had 13 of his own that night. A, and a big reason we won that game. I exactly. thought it was his best overall performance. Yep. Uh, how hard he played on both ends of the floor, uh, the way he rebounded the ball. His, uh, he, he was just really big for our team in that game. Now, as, as Donovan Sims said on our postgame show the other day, he goes, the FAU game was pretty. You had to turn around knowing that you were going to be in a fist fight against a very raw, rugged FIU team and 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 to how do you when you deal with your team in the one main practice you have and then a game day practice to get that through their head with with film and 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 on the floor talk about that process of knowing that it's going to be a totally different style game you're going to play yeah I mean it's it's you really just and sell it yeah it's it's about them them understanding that as well obviously as as coaches you're you're really preparing for that first one but starting to get the cliff notes of what's going to happen on saturday as well uh a, as a staff but it's it's really important that uh, our players are able to soak in 
what it is and how, how different it's going to be from game to game. And I, I think our guys understood uh, a little bit of, of what FIU was going to do, maybe a little bit more than other teams in our league because some of the things that they do defensively, we do as well. And so there's some things that we, uh, we've seen every day back all the way going back to, uh, uh, to the summer that FIU does because we do it. Yeah. And so we're a little bit more prepared, I think, than what most other teams would be on a one-day prep for how FIU likes to play. And that's, you know, we, th we press in multiple ways. So does FIU, and they're almost the same kind of press. So uh, there are some things that they do to try to speed up the game, ugly it up, if you will, uh, that, that we, were, we were prepared for. It doesn't mean that uh, it, it made it look pretty because it wasn't, that's right. but it was effective. Well, you held them to 22%. 23% uh, from the field on 13 of 57, but even better at outside the arc, 4 of 24, which is 16.7%. And, uh, you know, you guys have been one of the best three-point defensive teams in the league this year. And, and that's a good thing. You look at analytics now, and you, you better be able to uh, protect the rim and protect the three-point line because uh, the numbers say that those are the, the, the best shots to take, layups and threes that – uh, mid-range jumpers are uh, the lowest percentage shots that are taken in a game. And so you're trying to make sure that uh, the other team doesn't get easies uh, with dunks and offensive rebound putbacks, and they also don't get wide open catch and shoot threes. You've got to make them take the, the hardest ones. Uh, the other easies are, are the free throws. Uh, in some games this, this year, we've put our opponent on the free throw line too much. And uh, the other night, I thought we did a really good job of defending hard without fouling. Yep. So the Raiders win both of them on Thursday night, 70-57 to 57 over FAU, and on Saturday, 50-39 to 39 over FIU. Tonight's show is brought to you in part by the Lee Company. Blue Raider fans get ahead of the game with the best home services team in town. For your heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, and home improvement needs, Lee Company, the team to call, 615-867-1000 or leecompany.com. Cam Weston will be joining us here at the podium when we return as you listen to Nick McDevitt live on the Blue Raider Network from Learfield. What do you think of when you hear community, integrity, commitment, tradition, and partners? The folks at Sodexo know it's family, friends, neighbors, and coworkers. The people we live with, work with, share our world with, and the fans we love to serve. Sodexo is community. It's a community of more than 200 employees and nonprofit volunteers and the thousands of fans we serve at MTSU. Sodexo is a community of people who are committed to enhancing your game day experience. Sodexo, proud server of your game day concession needs and proud to serve the Blue Raiders. Hi, we're RJ Young. We offer technology solutions that power your business, school, hospital, church, law firm, and more. RJ Young will empower your office to be the modern office. That means an office that integrates technology as a business advantage, all to help you work smarter. From managed IT services, office equipment, and technology, business process outsourcing, and digital communications, we're proud to be your one stop for technology solutions that power your business. Come visit us at rjyoung.com. Every week, our Blue Raiders go the extra mile to make sure they're at their very peak. At Sunbelt Bakery, they do the same thing to make sure their granola bars are at their peak. Every week, Sunbelt Bakery brings new batches of granola bars from their bakery to your neighborhood. That's why Sunbelt Bakery's granola bars taste like they just baked them. Because they did. Try a Sunbelt Bakery granola bar today and taste the difference. Sunbelt Bakery. Bakery fresh taste. No preservatives. Middle Tennessee Electric proudly supports the Blue Raiders. And we're proud to power the scoreboard lights at Murphy Center. When it comes to the electric service in the community, you can always trust MTE to do what's best for our members. We serve by providing affordable, reliable, safe electricity and outstanding member services. Here at MTE, we serve to make life better for our members and their communities. Visit MTE.com to learn more. And about that scoreboard, well, light it up Blue Raiders. At TriGreen, we stand behind you with smart solutions to keep your property looking its best. Like our Smart Savings event, where you can get a 1023E tractor for just $90 per month. That's with 0% financing for 84 months. Find more smart savings at TriGreenEquipment.com. Offer ends 131-2021, subject to approved installment credit with John Deere Financial. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Time to 
Whether you go online or go in person, City Auto in Murfreesboro is where you go to see a gazillion cars and choose the one that's right for you. And there's no better time to go than now because we have a bigger, brand new facility. It's the easy, comfortable, convenient way to find what you're looking for. Remember, cityauto.com is where you go to find your car online. And the all-new City Auto Campus in Murfreesboro is where you go to see it in person. Go now, and we'll see you there. The Blue Raiders on News Radio WGNS, Murfreesboro, Smyrna. Welcome back into the Boulevard for Nick McDevitt Live as we talk Blue Raider basketball on this Monday night. This is the first of uh, seven straight uh, Monday nights that uh, we're scheduled to uh, take us right up through the end of the regular season. And I want to welcome our, our first special guest of the season and uh, a, a newcomer to the Blue Raiders this year. Cameron Weston of Albany, Georgia. Give him a nice round of applause and welcome Cam in. Thank you, thank you. So being from Albany, Georgia, mm -hmm. you, well, you do, and, and I think I know where this answer is going to go, but we've had more snow in the last two weeks oh, yeah. than we normally have, but you don't have much in Albany. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Um, coming from Albany, you know, it's all the way down south and everything, so it's nothing but sun. Like I said, um, <laughs> last year um, on Christmas, it was like 98 degrees or something, so it was like, yeah, it rarely gets cold, really, um, snows, not at all, but originally I am born, you know, in Alaska, so... Were you really? Yeah, I am. But I've been living in Albany my whole life, so. That may be the best tidbit yeah, we've gotten all so night, I, is yeah, that I, you were born <laughs> in Alaska. Yeah, I probably lived in, a, <laughs> in Alaska, i say, like two or three years. But ever since I moved to Albany, I've been in Albany my whole life. So was, was, a, was your, did you have a parent in the service or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Had, my, um, my dad was in the service, and my mom, she was working with the airlines and everything. So, yeah, that's the okay. reason why. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, so you, uh, you all moved down to Georgia, mm -hmm. and uh, – you grew up there, went to high school there. Yes, sir. Uh, talk about, tell folks about your high school career and some of the some of the highlights of that uh, that as you look back on it now. Uh, high school was really fun, you know. Um, ninth grade, you know, hanging out, hanging around like a lot of older people and everything. They taught me the ins and outs of high school and everything, you know. Um, playing playing varsity and everything, JV and all that as a ninth as a ninth grader, tenth grader. Uh, I would say my accomplishments were what did I? What did I accomplish? I remember we had a, a Christmas tournament, and I won the MVP for that tournament. Um, I was an honor roll student, so, you know, they they on, acknowledged that, too. So, um, Those are two pretty good things yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, I can't really remember all well, the accomplishments. But, yeah. when, 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 when you got out of high school, you, mm -hmm. uh, you, you took the junior college route to Southeastern yes, Community College in Burlington, Iowa. Yes, sir. Now, I'm sure you saw some snow there. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> so, <laughs> most definitely. And uh, so talk about your, your, your junior college experience. Uh, it, it was ups and downs, you know. Uh, like, like I say, JUCO is it's a grind for real, you know. It's a grind. Everybody's, you know, fighting for the same position that, you know, that they want to get to. So it's a grind for real. But uh, especially being in Iowa, you know, you're not really used to the weather all the time, you know, used to waking up that early or doing, doing all the activities that you have to do, you know. It's a grind for real, so. But it was an experience, and I would never, like, just say I didn't want to go through again. Yeah, an and, and you're better for it on the other end. Yes, sir. And, and it, it is, and in, in for most players who go the junior college route, it is a means to an end. It's mm -hmm. a means to a destination to get where you want to go. And, uh, and that destination ended up being here mm -hmm. in Murfreesboro at Middle Tennessee, and we're very happy about that. Yes, sir. And, uh, okay. and, and, and glad that you're, uh, you're happy with it as well. Talk about uh, what uh, got Middle Tennessee on your radar, mm -hmm. and what uh, do you think got you on their radar? Uh, so after my sophomore, my sophomore season at JUCO, um, you know, it wasn't too many coaches because of the COVID season and everything, so we didn't have too many recruits, too many coaches come to the games or anything. So it was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, play, play at another school after this year. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then all of a sudden, you know, I just, I just got a call that day. And, you know, it was from, it was from um, Coach Dixon. It was from Coach Dixon. So I talked to him and everything. And um, I, lo I love what he was, t uh, he was telling me and everything. And I feel like it would have been a great spot to be here. Yeah. Yes, sir. And now, you, you, once you've gotten here now, and this, this, uh, this team has a very different personality to it mm. than, uh, you know, every team has a different personality. This team's personality is you're a very tight group, for yes, one sir. thing. You love being around each other. Mm -hmm. And from, you know, and, and, and I see a bunch of guys who like 
getting into the gym or getting yeah. even getting shots up after games, mm -hmm. things like that. Who, who, when you look at uh, at the group when you're in the locker room and coaches aren't around, mm -hmm. who's the who's the voice in the room that uh, <laughs> that that who are the leaders? Uh, it's it's a lot of them. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you know you have um, Justin Buford. Uh, you have Justin Buford. He seems quiet. Quiet. Well, okay. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, people do have their quiet moments and everything. But as far as just like in the group and everything, yeah, you know, everybody likes to share their experience and everything, just talk to each other. So it's a great time with with, with really everybody. Everybody, you know, talks really. Yes, well, sir. yeah. Another guy who seems really quiet is Josh Jefferson. <laughs> is he is he quiet? Uh, he's very quiet on the floor. But what about when mm -hmm. he's uh, in the locker room? I mean, Josh, you know. Yeah, he he's, he has his quiet moment too, but um, I wouldn't say all the time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say all the time, but yeah, he does have his quiet moments sometimes. But yeah, most of the time, he you know he talks to us. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Now, us. what is what are your favorite things about this team? Uh, my favorite my favorite things about this team is for one, our chemistry for sure. You know, you haven't been on too many teams where the chemistry is just clicking on and off the court, and that is a great thing with this team. You know, we we always um either with each other off the court or on the court. We, we talk to each other, having fun, you know, but still, you know, getting, you know, putting in work and everything. Uh, another thing I would say, um, this team's work, work ethic, like you said, how, how they stay after the gym and everything, get up shots, you know, uh, off days or anything, they just still going to the gym, you know. So that's another thing. And um, lastly, hmm, lastly, what would I say? This team, uh hungry most definitely but that, that goes back in the worth ethic too though so Correct. they are hungry it does. Most definitely yeah okay where uh I'll, I'll let you put coach mcdevitt's hat on here mm -hmm. but where does this team need to improve the most uh, between now you've got about six weeks left in the regular season what, what what does this team need to do to be a real threat when it comes conference tournament time uh turnovers turnovers yes sir um value average, the ball value the ball most definitely as of right now uh we are we are turning the ball the ball over at a high rate, you know. So just bringing that just bringing that down, you know, X game plays all the time, you know, running to our spots, getting to do everything the correct way, you know, it changes a lot for the game. What does it mean to uh, because as, as Coach mentioned, we finally were able to have fans in the stands mm -hmm. for the final two games of last year. Won those two. Mm -hmm. Now here we are, fans are back in the building again this year. We've clicked off eight more, mm -hmm. eight in a row at home. Tell these folks what it means for the, for, to you guys for them to be there, be loud, and bring their neighbors <laughs> next time. I don't even know if they realize, but it's, it's very important. You know, uh, playing, playing um, COVID season with no fans and everything is, is not the same as having fans, you know. And I love this crowd. I love this fan and everything because I don't know. It's just, they just bring a certain type of energy out that, you know, most fans can't bring out. But, yeah, I love it here. Yep, yes, and, and, uh, and, and, and we, we get the students back. Tomorrow is the first day of classes, so yes, hopefully sir. we'll have a bunch of students out this weekend for the game on Saturday, which, again, is at 1 o'clock. And uh, everybody can come out, watch the Blue Raiders play, mm -hmm. and then uh, watch our, our Blue Raider alum, Kevin Byard, and his Tennessee Titans in the okay. playoffs with a 3.30 kickoff, and I uh, want to wish him all the best of luck. And speaking of luck, I want to wish my man Cam Weston all the best of luck. Give him a nice round of applause. Thank, Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you all. Thank you all. All right, Cameron Weston, our guest tonight on Nick McDevitt Live. We'll take a timeout. Coach rejoins me right after this on the Blue Raider Network from Learfield. The MTSU Alumni Association is proud of its more than 130,000 living alumni who are leading, teaching, entertaining, researching, buying, farming, nursing, and more worldwide. Every Blue Raider accomplishment adds value to your degree. Are you connected to the MTSU National Alumni Association? Visit mtalumni.com to share what you're doing, update your information, and see how you can be involved and informed. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built the trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 44 years straight. Built for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't built for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. 
Orthopedic Alliance takes great pride in treating Middle Tennessee State University athletes, experts in bones, joints, and muscles, and with more than 60 specialists in locations across Middle Tennessee, TOA has a playbook to get you back in the game. To request an appointment, visit us at toa.com or give us a call at 855-NEED-TOA. Tennessee Orthopedic Alliance, or TOA, the official team doctors for Blue Raider Athletics. Hey, Blue Raider fans. This is Dr. Mark Hardison with Middle Tennessee Oral and Implant Surgery. We are so proud to be able to serve the Blue Raider teams and their families when they need wisdom teeth removed, dental implants, or other specialty Anybody got care. any question Our cards or anything? Is to provide health care as it should be, providing compassion, availability, and excellence to every one of our patients. We deeply appreciate the support of your business as we join in supporting our team. Let's go, Blue! Our employees at Purity Dairy are proud to be true blue supporters of Middle Tennessee athletics and their student athletes. At Purity Dairy, we aim to be the most trusted source of wholesome, delicious dairy products for every occasion. We never forget how fortunate we are to be invited into your home, and we earn our place by holding ourselves to the highest standards. With over 100 products available in Tennessee, Alabama, and Kentucky, visit your local retailer for Purity Milk, ice cream, and more. It's a new season. Get ready for more men's and women's college sports excellence. Trophies will be awarded in June to schools who take the top spot in the 2021-22 Learfield Directors' Cup. The premier award recognizes one winning institution in all competitive divisions. Follow your favorite team's progress as seasonal standings are announced at L Directors' Cup on Twitter and online at directorscup.org. The crowning achievement in college athletics. The Blue Raiders play here. News Radio WGNS. Welcome back into uh, Nick McDevitt Live, and we are at the Boulevard. want to remind you that uh, Tri-Green Equipment, they know the value of teamwork. They have the tractor packages with implements you need. Score a new John Deere tractor package at a comfortable, low monthly rate and get back to what really matters. That's Blue Raider basketball. Get started online at trygreen.com. Tri Green Equipment is a proud partner of Blue Raider Athletics, and you could use a little John Deere uh, action to keep that driveway clean here the There's last couple no of weeks. No doubt about it. Or, or call this one right here John Deere. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, I, I think folks got, got a really good idea of why you guys are part of the reason you guys recruited Cam Weston. Uh, when you hear him talk about it uh, in his play, um, you know, he, he's very, uh, you know, ac accountability is a big thing. And, and I, I think he, he's, uh, he was pretty shy about talking about himself as a leader. But I think he's one of your leaders, do you think? He, he for sure is. Uh, but I think the, 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 I think he said it well when, you know, talking about our team and the thing that keeps us, that's made us good is that uh, they're close. Uh, the team chemistry is there. There are multiple leaders on our team. Uh, he's one of them. Uh, obviously, he's you know coming into a program that uh, where Donovan Sims, uh, a, a, a veteran guard, has been a part of our program for a long time and uh, knows what it takes to win in this league. And guys like uh, Josh Jefferson and Cam Weston, uh, two older guards, uh, kind of willing to listen, if you will, and listen and learn, and then lead themselves. And I, I think we just have a, a group of guys that are willing to lead, but also willing to be led as well. And uh, sometimes that, that comes from the same guy, uh, that at times it, it is your time to, to lead in a certain situation, but also uh, willing to be led as well. And uh, I think that's important. You mentioned uh, Donovan Sims. Saturday was his 90th career start. It's incredible. That? Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. 90 career starts. Uh, I think it's uh, 90 of 96 over the last four years. That's correct. Uh, that he has started. Uh, that's hard to do. Uh, just being available. Uh, Was sometimes it only, only, only 30 games in his career he has not started. I think that's right. Uh, something like uh, so that. Very close yeah, within a game or yeah, two. Somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, again, that's uh, uh, often, you know, sometimes your, your best ability is your availability. And uh, that guy's been available uh, a lot. Yeah. One of the things, uh, it was brought up on, on Coach Ensel's show, and, of course, it has been a, a topic today. 
uh, is today is Martin Luther King Day. And, um, and Coach Ensel had some really great words uh, late in, in his show talking about uh, why we uh, take pause today to, to think about Dr. King. Um, in your profession as a basketball coach, uh, and, and you are around a lot of young African-American men, they look to you for leadership, and, and you, the lessons of Dr. King are part of everyday life with your group. They are, uh, and, you know, sometimes uh, leading isn't easy, and, um, you know, doing the right thing is, uh, you know, you know it when you see it, you know it when you're supposed to do it, but that doesn't mean that it's always easy, and obviously Martin Luther King And doing King it when other people aren't looking. That's right, yeah. and uh, that was somebody that um, led uh, even when it wasn't always easy and knew what was right. Uh, even when it wasn't always easy to, to live that out day in and day out and uh, was certainly someone that uh, all of us, uh, particularly uh, young African-American um, males that, that I coach day in and day out, uh, can, can look to as someone as that's how you live your life. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, one of, uh, I've seen uh, one of my favorite quotes of his uh, several times today popping up on social media, and that, and, uh, that is, I choose love every day because hatred is too heavy a burden to bear. So <laughs> well that's pretty strong. No question. That's pretty strong. No so question. everybody, uh, before you put your head on the pillow tonight, uh, you know, just kind of give those words and that some more thought and, and make that part of your everyday life. Um, college basketball uh, lost uh, one of uh, the icons who has a connection to uh, a couple of a couple of guys. Number one. I want to talk about Joe B. Hall just a minute. And uh, Coach Hall was the, the coach of the Kentucky Wildcats in 1982 when the Blue Raiders beat them in the NCAA tournament. But as always, just an absolute class act gentleman. And uh, he also has a bit of a connection to you. And you told me a story I did not, real, I did not know uh, last night. So kind of share that with folks, your connection with, uh, with Joe B. Hall. Yeah, my, my first uh, game as a head coach was against Kentucky. Welcome to college basketball, <laughs> right? So. Yeah, welcome to college basketball. It was uh, at Rupp Arena, and uh, they, they had uh, a, a group, Julius Randle, Willie Cauley-Stein, the Harrison Twins. Uh, they, they were good. You know, they were number one in the country. And it was first game of the year and first game of my uh, coaching career. And uh, the, the night before the game, I did a radio interview with Coach Hall and uh, Denny Crum. <laughs> Uh, after the, the two had uh, retired from uh, Kentucky and Louisville, got together and had a radio show and uh, uh, was able to spend some time with those guys. And, uh, you know, just growing up uh, around the area, and you, you know, you know who Denny Crum and Joe B. Hall uh, were, and uh, that, was, that was a lot of fun for me, having watched those two guys uh, roam the sideline when I was a, when I was a boy uh, to the night before my first game. Uh, get on there and talk hoops with two legends. That's right. Uh, Jennifer sent in a couple of questions. You've already answered one about uh, the, the change of the styles of play that, that you played the past weekend. Any update on the rescheduling of the postponed games yet? Man, if somebody's got it, I'd like to know it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we should be able to get those in. You know, we've, we've reached out to the league office uh, numerous times, we being myself and Chris Massaro, trying to get those back on, on the slate. Uh, you, you don't ever want to lose any games off your schedule, much less conference home games. And uh, we've got room to, to put them in. Uh, it's just about um, having somebody tell us, here's when you're playing and here's who you're playing. And uh, hopefully that, uh, that's coming soon. Yep. You know what that leaves us just enough time for, Coach? I do know your favorite segment of Five the night. Random Five random questions. questions. Here we go. Here we go. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Haggis. Okay, that, that qualifies, that qualifies. Haggis. What goes up and down but can't move? And it's not a slow uh, post player. A score? No. I don't guess the score can go down. I don't know. A staircase. There you go. A yep. staircase. Um, they say the best two days in a man's life are the day he buys a boat and the day he sells it. When you get your yacht, <laughs> what are you going to name it? Uh, hmm. It won't be Titanic. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll be ever doing that. My wife gets motion sick. 
Oh. Uh, so I, I don't think uh, a jet ski, a boat, a yacht, any of those are anywhere in our, our future. I understand. Have you ever sat next to anyone famous on an airplane? No. No? I sat next to Mac McAnally. If anybody is Jimmy Buffett fans, you know who Mac McAnally is. He's if in the you're band. having to qualify who that person yeah, is, not then they might not be that famous. Okay, there you go. If you'd have said Jimmy Buffett, then that would be man. That would been that, that would have been a story. Okay. But having to go into detail. Wait a second. Why are yeah, you, go, go why you trying to go on to the next? Go we ahead. have a break. Go now, ahead. Go ahead. One one quick last thing. Were you aware that in football, an official has to touch the ball before it can be snapped? I think all Cowboys fans are today. Yeah, that's right. I that's was not familiar, but uh, they're up on that rule today. Aren't they? Oh, oh man, I think we all are today. All right. Well, Coach got some help here with Cooper on five random questions. He deserves a lot of the credit tonight. So there you go, Coop. We'll take a break. Wrap it up with the coach after this on the Blue Raider Network from Learfield. Murfreesboro, you can count on an award-winning service team for all your home maintenance and improvement needs. Lee Company, A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, recognized by Angie's List as a super service provider since 2008, is ready to assist with all your home maintenance needs. Heating and air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, home improvement, and more. Experience the convenience of calling one phone number for all your home maintenance and improvement needs. Call Lee Company today at 615-867-1000 or visit LeeCompany.com. Out here, we charge into the heartland with Mountain Dew. Out here, there's no rush hour, just the rush of flying wide open on glassy water at 5 a.m. with your first dew in hand. And there's no spin class, just bright green spinner bait that ironically matches your second dew. Out here, we don't just play big buck hunt, we hunt actual big bucks. And out here, the best road is off-road, and the color of your truck is mud. Out here, it's dew. Murfreesboro Medical Clinic is proud to be the official medical group of MTSU Athletics. We all win big when we work as a team for better health. Just like MTSU's athletes and coaches, our healthcare professionals work tirelessly to make our community proud. At MMC, we really are true blue. MTSU is our hometown team, and your health is our mission. Visit mmclinic.com or call us at 615-893-4480. Make a fast break for Bunny Bread, proud supporter of the Blue Raiders. With its soft, fresh taste you know and love, Bunny Bread and Bunny Buns are fan favorites for all ages. Bunny is the perfect three-pointer with the taste you want, the nutrition you need, and energy to go. So score big with Bunny Bread and Bunny Buns today and cheer the Blue Raiders on to victory. That's what I said. Bunny Bread. News Radio WGNS, the flagship station for Blue Raider sports. Tonight's show brought to you in part by TOA, Tennessee Orthopedic Alliance, proud to offer official orthopedic coverage to Blue Raider athletes. TOA 60 plus specialists are experts in bones, joints, and muscles and have the expertise to get you back in the game. And you'll get back in the game on Saturday against Southern Miss. The uh, coach uh, Ladner, he always has his guys playing hard. He does. Uh, I like Jay. I, I didn't know him uh, very well before we got uh, before he came into the league, but a good guy and uh, does a good job with his team. All right, we'll be out there one o'clock Saturday afternoon, Middle Tennessee and Southern Miss. Hope to see you there. For the coach, this is Chip Walters saying thanks for being with us and good night for the Blue Raider Network from Learfield. <laughs>